got eyes on it. And uh, support is coming uh, from here in South Florida as well for Juan Guado. And our team coverage turns to local 10 News reporter Glenna Milberg. She is live in Doral with reaction from the Venezuelan community. Christy Janice Doral is a little bit of erupting today, specifically on the corner where we're standing because there is this restaurant here that put out sort of a call to action. And I want to take you through the traffic and over the parking lot to show you what a gathering it is. Not a protest today. No, no, no. This is a rally and a very happy, hopeful one. So let me take you inside a very packed restaurant where there are people just singing and clapping. There are a couple of political prisoners, former political prisoners from Venezuela in there speaking. You get the sense that this crowd thinks that today's developments are the most significant to date in their hope, in their quest for a people driven democracy in Venezuela. Of course, there are televisions on inside. They're hanging on every piece of news. Uh, it is very uncertain as the last 10 minutes that we've been talking about what exactly is happening moment to moment. But they are firmly behind Juan Guaido from the very moment he claimed power in January. They've been out here almost daily being the support, the diaspora and exile support of that. Let me let you listen to a couple of people from inside. Today we have, you know, the military, you know, part that we didn't have before. So today we have it right now. So it's running, it's running with us, finally. Other times it's been like, uh, you know, like, like hope, uh, wishful thinking. Uh, today it feels like uh, really we have a backup. We, we are backed up by the United States and, and several and many, many countries. And, and we are hopeful that this will be the final, you know, Independence Day. You've been hearing about the tweeting from different lawmakers and administrative officials. Mario diaz Ballard is the congressman who actually is the congressman for this district that we're standing in here. He tweeted out today, Maduro has dragged Venezuela down for years with corruption, oppression, and human rights abuses, prolonging the suffering of the Venezuelan people for far too long. He must go. That is a tweet that pretty much echoes what he's been saying what really every South Florida lawmaker has been saying. This is a bipartisan Florida support for the administration of Juan Guaido. And you see the political power that this community has by all of them who have visited and spoken, including the governor, including the vice president recently. And so this is very much of a hopeful day at the moment. Stay tuned. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Doral today, Local 10 News.